Hey guys, it's Core Ross, and we have this beautiful page for Finca here. So we've got this great artwork of her. She looks amazing. Looks quite emotional, like something bad has just happened, and she's gonna just recover from it now. You can see her operator icon right here, and we get a kind of backstory for her. So her name is uh, Lara, although I'm not sure how to pronounce that exactly, and she is a doctor. So she was actually born three years after the Chernobyl disaster in the city of Gommel. And she actually had a disease which uh, slowly, the slow degradation of her muscles and loss of sensation in her limbs. So her family told her to be active. And this hard ass girl decided that she wasn't just going to be active, she was going to be active as she could be to remain healthy. So she could not be sick if she stayed healthy, her young mind reasoned. So she grew up with a couple of uh, siblings and they did a lot of sports. And uh, yeah, she decided that she was going to be the one to kind of cure herself, which is pretty sweet. So she went off to university in uh, Novo Sibric and uh, she remained at NSU and in the bio, biotechnical um, virology laboratory and of course she researched self-dissolving nanites which of course is her ability which we'll get to soon um, well she didn't find a cure uh, she had found uh, remission which is pretty cool so this, this, is a, this is a hell of a woman she's kicking ass and let's go and look at more of this so Lara might have stayed in Akamedia had she not received a visit from the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation, Russian Spetsnaz operators, and the special uh, agents facing face the ever-growing danger of exposure to hazardous materials, including, uh, wow, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, agents like VX Gas. For the first time in her life, Lara began thinking outside of her own concerns. Her research had saved the lives of perfect strangers and now they were reaching out to her, sending grateful postcards and photos and letters. Wow. She could have a greater impact still. Lara jumped at the chance to work with Spetsnaz volunteers in the uh, variety of conditions as she adapted the nanowatts to their high-performance physiologies. Hmm. So, like, making Spetsnaz soldiers better by using nanobots? Wow. So quickly, she came to the, so quickly she came to enjoy the sense of competition, camaraderie, and the mental toughness of the Russian Special Forces members. I'm very curious if they mention actually who they were. She joins the army with an eye on becoming a Red uh, Beret herself on the front lines and saving lives as a chemical biological radio and uh, yeah so that's the CBRN specialist part of her so serving in the Russian army Lera rapidly proved herself physically and mentally tough enough to try out for the Spetsnaz so we knew that I got, we knew the male guy was going to be uh, the French GIGN we weren't sure if the girl was going to be Spetsnaz so she definitely is a Spetsnaz uh, it was a brutal course Coming in the close quarter battle, knife training with Capcan. Yeah, I thought he would. I thought one of them for sure was going to turn up. Wonder if anyone else will turn up in this. Um, of course, we've seen him <laughs> in his stupid elite uniform, shaking his uh, knives around in the MVP screen. Uh, a misstep, a misstep, and a flourish with Capcan. Oh, a misstep and a flourish with Capcan. However, opened her face from brow to cheek. My God, it was Capcan that did this freaking... Oh, my God, Capcan, you numpty. So, <laughs> this is awesome. I love these backstories. However, opened her face from brow to cheek, uh, but Lara uh, went for a series of bone-breaking punches to his nose and ribs before the pain overwhelmed her. Wow. They spent the night in the med tent, neither of them speaking, <laughs> neither of them speaking. Man, these people are stubborn. Um, but enjoyed a new unspoken respect between them. From that day forward, she earned her... Um, ah, so that's it. Finca means knife. I wonder if that's also where our icon comes from. 
Interesting. <laughs> I love the backstories. They're getting better and better. So Lair became the Spetsnaz uh, CBR and specialist, joined the uh, Vipin unit under the FSB and using her nanobots to help her unit survive hot zones. She was one of the only people capable of tailing the nanobots to specific operators. Cool. Her work uh, in restructuring Russian battlefield protocols in the handling of neutralization of dangerous payloads earned her notice and she became the go-to expert when it came to joint ex exercises with other CTUs. Interesting. Six invited Lara to help Rainbow Six put together a CBR, CRBN unit uh, of their own with Oliver Lion Lament as her first pick. So I'll be doing another video on his backstory soon after this as well. Old Fears. Lara discovered that her neuropathy, I don't know how to pronounce that, dyslexic, so I'm not good at <laughs> anything reading wise was slowly growing resistant to treatment. The old fears returned every ache and pain analyzed and scrutinized as she pushed herself even harder to peak performance. So kind of the disease is catching up there and she's needing to fight it off. And we get a mention of IQ and Valkyrie here. Apparently they do workouts together, but only uh, Valkyrie understands that pushing uh, limit of physical fitness, uh, Lara unable to distinguish between the disease and normal fatigue and is driven by her fears and made excellent by them in the same maddening moment. So she's so scared about losing what she has to this disease that she's like just going, you know, crazy and she doesn't know if she's breaking herself or if it's a disease she's feeling. Uh, she's not young anymore, uh, but more desperate than ever to hold on to her life. Hey, like it's like she's running out of time. She's trying to find a new treatment while keeping it a secret. But Doc knows. I love all these links to different operators. But Doc knows and is closely monitoring her at CMT in case it begins to affect her performance. She has not shared this with anyone else. Not Capcan, who has uh, her non no nonsense mentor, and not Chichanka. Man, they're just mentioning everyone possible now, and not. Uh, and uh, not to Chanka, with whom she drinks and flirts. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling there was going to be some sort of romance. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's cute. Uh, Lara has recently taken to creating a wall of letters and photos in her workplace. A reminder that her treatments are more than just about helping herself. But she's still afraid that this might get ahead of her. Very cool, very cool. So, gadget and loadout, the very exciting stuff. So, let's talk weapons. She's got the Spear 308, so it looks like a really cool gun. Um, we've seen that in leaks before, so that confirms that. Then she has the Russian shotgun and the Russian LMG that is already in the game. And that's the same with both the operators. They've got one new gun and the other ones are just taken from the CTU that their, their nation is. Then she has the PMM pistol and the GSH-18 pistol. She has a breaching charge and a stun grenade and she is a two-speed, two-armor operator. So let's talk about her gadget. So, Finca delivers a nanobot shot to each operator before an operation. The nanites are made of zinc uh, with the chromological cocktail laced into the nanobot's construction. When she activates her signal, the nanobots uh, disintegrate with the zinc being uh, treated as a neutral, um, nutrient or nutrient by the body and facilitating the absorption of the drugs. The operators receive a short boost of health to get them back on their feet, to give uh, them an extra push and to steady their aim. So it's going to heal. But it might be a temporary heal. Uh, it's, we, I think we also know it's going to overheal too. And it's also going to give them an extra push. Wonder what the push means. So that means they can go faster. Uh, and it will also steady their aim. So recoil reduction. So it's going to, these nanobots are going to heal. They're going to uh, reduce recoil. 
and potentially make you faster. That's amazing. The idea is that she can only use this ability probably twice in total. But that is the page on Finca, so that's freaking awesome. There'll be a link to this in the description below, of course. And wow, they're getting really good at these backstories. I'm loving it. So that is Finca, and she seems like a freaking badass. Loving it. Going to be a very interesting ability to see in action. Can't wait. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Ricin. Anthrax. Sarin gas. Ebola. VX gas. Chimera viruses. Some enemies are invisible. But the CBRN threat unit is Rainbow's shield against those enemies that can kill you with a single drop of blood. Nanobots online. Big Brother are coming in for Overwatch. Or one wrong breath.